Welcome back everybody. In this segment we're going to talk about generating some volumes. So in order to generate some volumes you're going to need a sample line group created and there should be at least uh, or two surfaces sampled in that sample line group. So if you take a look over in the, the prospector tab under your alignment, if you expand out your center line alignment and uh, your alignment name, expand out sample line groups. Uh, in this case, I've got two sample line groups created. I have one uh, generated just for my volumes. So in my uh, sample line group here, if I go into the properties, and uh, check out the uh, sections tab, I'll notice that I'm sampling two surfaces. One is my existing ground and one is my corridor datum. So these two surfaces will be used uh, to compare against each other in order to generate some cut and fill volumes along that uh, alignment. Okay, so uh, if you don't have that there, then you should go ahead and uh, build a new sample line group uh, for your volumes because chances are your cross-section sample line group that you may have generated before for your cross-section views doesn't have the, uh, the sampling increment that uh, is to be desired for volumes. You're going to need something uh, quite small. So check out the uh, segment on creating sample line groups to generate a brand new sample line group for your cut fill volumes. Once you've got a sample line group created, then you can go ahead and generate some volumes. Now, uh, if you go to the settings tab, and scroll down to the bottom. You can go to the quantity takeoff section. That's a fancy name for generating volumes. But we're going to generate some quantity takeoffs, which is our cut and fill volumes for our uh, design. So under this section, we've got quantity takeoff criteria. Uh, the one that we'll use today is cut and fill. So if you double click on this uh, style here, what we have is we have uh, two sections, uh, ground removed and ground filled. So what this particular style is going to do is if we generate our volumes using this criteria, it will generate a set of volumes for all of my cut material and all of my fill material and give me a cumulative total at the end. So uh, notice that we've got another one here for earthworks. That's uh, kind of the same thing, except it's just going to give me a total. It's not going to break up my cut and fills into uh, uh, different values. So uh, once we've got that uh, straightened out, we're going to go to the Analyze tab on our ribbon. So go ahead and click Analyze on your ribbon. And then over in the Volumes and Materials uh, palette, we'll select Compute Materials and uh, it's going to ask me for an alignment so make sure you pick the proper alignment and very important select the correct sample line group so make sure you're using the one that you generated for specifically for volumes and then say OK and uh, up comes this next dialog box you can go ahead and specify a different criteria we just looked at that you know, a minute ago so it's going to ask us now uh, which surface do we want to use as the existing ground surface so I've got uh, a cut and fill for each so I'm going to select my uh, EG surface for my existing ground and for my uh, datum surface I'll select my corridor datum surface and notice up at the top we can specify a different method uh, the fastest is probably the average end area uh, prismodal and composite are a little more accurate but uh, will take a little bit more time to generate as well we'll stick with the average end area at, at uh, this point in time go ahead and select OK and your volumes will be generated in the bottom right corner you can see it computing and when it's finished you won't get any kind of a notice but you will see that uh, the command has ended your uh, volumes are waiting for you to uh, represent them in either a report or a mass hall diagram so once you've commu computed the materials properly then uh, if you want you can check out uh, a volume report by clicking volume report on the analyze tab and uh, it'll ask us to select an alignment specify the sample line group make sure you've clicked the select correct sample line group that you generated the materials for uh, your material list will be the latest and greatest it'll number that a style sheet is just how it's going to uh, represent your volumes in cut and fill on a spreadsheet uh, kind of a form and you can go ahead and select this open button and pick a different uh, style sheet but for most cases earthworks style sheet will work just fine so say open and uh, go ahead and select OK and wait for your volume report to be generated. Say yes for the scripts and uh, it'll bring up our volumes in a list here. 
So notice in this report, it breaks down each section uh, or each station that I've sampled uh, in either cut and fill and gives me a cumulative total at the end there. So it gives me a running tally, keeps track of uh, my amount of uh, cut and fill uh, accumulative as I run through the range of stations that I've sampled. So if you scroll right down to the very last station at the bottom of your report, this last number here represents your uh, tally of what your cut and fill volumes will be uh, overall. So if it's a positive number, that means you've got an excess of cut, you've got some excess material you're going to have to get rid of somehow. If it's a negative number, that means you're in a deficit, which means you have probably had a lot of fill throughout your design and you're going to have to come up with some additional material to fill in those sections. So that's your volume report. Uh, you can also select the file pull down menu and print that out to uh, any format that you would like. Alright, thanks for watching folks. Bye now.